Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video of the Jelly Bean AOKP Preview ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's kind of a preview ROM as it's definitely an alpha, not everything has been recompiled, and it has a couple bugs, not many. Um, actually, it uh, to install it, I'm not going to make a how to install video, but uh, you're going to need to download the ROM and the Google Apps add-on, the G Apps, uh, that I will link to the thread in the description. And then you can follow my how to install CM9 video, but with the two AOKP files, um, and you can do it the same way. So I'll link to that. Uh, so you have a method, just make sure you use the AOKP files. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and go to Menu, System Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone. Under About Phone, you will see it is 4.1.1 Jelly Bean based on uh, Jelly Bean, of course, uh, thanks to Task650 and Ktune says right there, two developers getting this going. I don't even think they have a Sprint variant. This is my Sprint uh, Galaxy S3, um, but uh, they have, I think, a, an AT&T Galaxy S3. But you'll see AOKP uh, version right there. Um, very awesome, and Android version 4.1.1. Anyways, uh, other things to talk about. Right away, you'll notice it has two launcher options. You basically have the stock ice cream sandwich or jelly bean launcher, or you have Nova Launcher, which is a custom launcher that has different effects, such as transition animations and other things. So, I mean, it's your it's your pick. Just select one, hit always if you want it to be always, or just once, up to you. Anyways, uh, you obviously have all those jelly bean features. Uh, swipe down, you'll see I have some uh, email notification 61 I'm a little behind but uh, you can actually pinch in and collapse them or extend them um, if you have a longer uh, text message I believe you can extend it or collapse it as well and that will view it and same with picture messages but uh, speaking of picture messages that is basically the one bug on here uh, when I go into messaging and go in here you'll see I sent myself a picture message right there and it's sent. It sends fine. Uh, the person will receive it, but uh, when they send you a picture message back, uh, just this download button will show up. If you press the download button, it's not going to download. To download a picture message that you get, you're going to need a third-party uh, SMS application such as GoSMS. Uh, you, you'll need that to download any incoming picture messages, which is no big deal um, because I really don't get too many picture messages. So, I mean, you'll get the notification on your stock application and then you can just go and download it on the MMS application from GoSMS. So, uh, text messages work, uh, pictures work, uh, pictures, uh, camera works, call works, just take making calls work fine. You'll see I go in there and you got your stock uh, looking dialer. Whoops. You make a call and you've got your AOSP style uh, call where you can end call, open up the dialer, put it on speaker, mute, or add a caller, I believe. Yeah, so you can dial to add a call. So, again, uh, very awesome. You got a picture there if you have a picture of your contact. Up at the top status bar, you got your updated Jelly Bean status bar, as you saw a little earlier. But with some tweaks up at the top, you'll see you have some toggles turned on by default. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, rotation. You'll see this little hat. It's actually an AOKP kind of thing. It's uh, it's uh, the swagger toggle where you can turn your swag on or off, obviously. Just make sure you turn it off before you go to bed. Um, <laughs> anyways, it, it doesn't do anything to my knowledge. Uh, you have vibrate, you have sync, and sound. You can customize these. I'll get to it in a second. Uh, up at the top, obviously, you got your your clock along with the date. And you can clear away your notifications by this or go straight into settings right there. You can swipe away your notifications as well by swiping them left or right. Uh, so obviously, very awesome, very cool Jelly Bean animations. Uh, lock screen wise, you have the updated lock screen where you've got camera, unlock, or Google Now. I'll get to that in a second. But we can go into, go ahead and go into camera. And you'll see I got my front facing camera on. I'll switch it to the back. And you'll see I can just quickly take some pictures. There we go. So quickly take pictures. I think I can swipe up from somewhere over here and it should load up my, ah, uh, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about when you uh, swipe away from your notifications and it brings up, there it is. So uh, you can swipe through and bring up a preview of your images and videos and there you go. So anyways, um, obviously it is very stock based. Uh, again, it has super user, super SU, so it is pre-rooted. 
Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. Other apps I've installed on my own. Google Chrome I've installed. Of course, that works just fine. Otherwise, you have the stock browser here. Uh, loads on up. Works great, of course. You can uh, press and hold on that home button, and of course you have your recent running apps list, which I accidentally pressed on the camera. But yeah, you can toggle through those. You can swipe those away if you want to get rid of them. All right, but as I said, pretty much the only thing not working is that incoming MMS GPS worked fine for me. I did get a lock, so if you're worried about that, GPS was working fine. But one of the main awesome things about this ROM is, of course, the settings that you can mess with. You'll see under Quick Links, you have some ROM control settings, so we can go into that. You have some general UI settings, not too many. You'll have Enable Volume Panel and Show Notification Count, which will display the number of pending notifications in the status bar. I'm not exactly sure what a Volume Panel is. Um, I honestly really don't know what it does I don't I thought it had to do with this oh it does perfect so enable volume panel is when you uh, change your volume your ringtone volume you have a settings button right here which you can change various ones alarm notification and etc so very cool that you can change that clock uh, you have different clock style right center or no clock AM PM you can have don't show small AM PM regular pro tech o'clock I don't know exactly what that is but uh, there you go so that's apparently what Pro Tech O'Clock is, 99.99. Um, I did not know that, so someone fill me in if uh, I'm missing something. So you can change your clock, uh, your AM, PM style up to you. Day of the week as well, abbreviated day of the week if you don't want to show it. Small weekday, regular weekday. Uh, you have toggles. This is where I was talking about the custom notification pull-down bar toggles. You have enabled toggles where you can turn them on and off. Let's say you don't use Bluetooth, you can turn that off but let's say that you use the torch. So you can turn on your torch, close it, pull down, you'll see GPS is no longer there. I swipe over and torch is right there on the end, uh, working well once you toggle that. So awesome. Uh, you can change the order of the toggles as well. Uh, move them around wherever you please. Um, you have layout options, so you can either use these icons or um, you can have basically these other toggles right here where it's got the word of what it is and then a toggle right next to it. So it's up to you how you want to basically customize your notification panel. So obviously you can tap on one. What also you can do is actually press and hold on a toggle and it takes you directly into those settings. So you'll see I press and hold on the Wi-Fi toggle and it took me directly into my Wi-Fi settings. So it's another quick little tip there for your uh, custom toggles up at the top of the notification bar there. Toggle style, icon only, text only, up to you what you want. Uh, you can reset the toggles as well if you mess with it too much and you want to go back to stock. Battery. So now you have some battery icon styles up here up at the top we can check out. So whoops, let's go ahead and say battery icon. So you have text only, which is where it will show only the text, the battery percentage. You have icon with text. You also have icon with centered text and circle mod. And there you go. So you have circle mod as well, and you have hide. Why would you want to hide it? Because you have battery bar options, so you can have a battery bar there. Uh, put it uh, in the status bar, and you'll see up at the top that little, there's a little line, a faint line up at the top. Uh, it's pretty much full because I'm at 98%, but there's that little line, that'll, let's say it's at 50%, it would be halfway full. So there you go, that saves some space up in your status bar, which is uh, very nice. You can have battery bar style, regular, or center mirrored. Uh, again, it's it's up to you what you want to do, how you want to handle that battery uh, battery notification icon, battery icon. Um, so you have cha charging animations as well, uh, which it says char charging animation may result in a poor user experience. Enable at your own discretion, so be careful with that one. You can change that battery bar color. So let's say you wanted it to be pink. You can hit that, and you'll see up at the top it's much more visible because it is now pink. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but you can definitely tell here that it uh, you got a pink uh, color up there. You can change the thickness as well. So lots of battery uh, customizations. Navigation bars, I believe those uh, those icons such as on the Galaxy Nexus that you can enable or disable. I really uh, I'm not going to enable them. I don't really want to mess with them, especially because you got capacitive buttons. I don't really see a point to having navigation bar on a. Uh, on a phone that has capacitive buttons. So that's just my opinion. Obviously you can try them out if you'd like. No no big deal there. Uh, just For me it just kind of gets rid of some screen space so I just choose not to do it. Themes. Uh, you have theme chooser right here. I believe you can use the CM10 themes uh, found in the Play Store so you can choose different themes. Uh, I don't know how many there are so you'll have to take a look for yourself and 
kind of do those at your own discretion. Other than that though, uh, I mean everything's run, been running smooth, been running this pretty much all day and it's it's been going great. I mean I have really haven't ran into any issues. The only one was that MMS downloading issue. As I said, uh, GPS worked great, got around navigating. And other than that though, I mean you got your widgets and that's it. Uh, you can actually Obviously more jelly bean features where if you have a bunch of icons on your home screen and you have want to put a widget there, it'll actually reset it'll move around those icons. So let's say I wanted to put this clock there. It should yeah, so you'll see it move those app icons over. Um, there's a kind of cool clock there. You get your AOKP style clock, a bunch of different options. So that's kind of neat. There, got a nice jelly bean one. So there you have it. Uh, again, I mean this is a still a Alpha ROM, I mean, it still is definitely being worked on a lot, so expect a lot more advancements to come. I'll keep you guys updated, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, but that's really about it. All I wanted to cover, you'll definitely let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment, um, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Also, um, for those of you that don't know, I made a separate channel for uh, vlogs and such, more personal videos, so if you wanted to check that out, you can. I will link to it for you guys. Uh, but that's it. So again, thanks for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up.